for the blessing of salvation. We thank you for the blessing of healing. We thank you for the blessing of marital settlement. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing, oh God, even of, of, of new beginning. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Thank you, Lord, because you are set to visit us in a new way that we have ever experienced before. We give you all the glory, Lord. For in Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Amen. Lastly, I want us to pray to the Lord, our Father, as I come to your presence today, open the eyes of my understanding, that I may behold and know the mysteries of your help that you have made available to me. Let us say that, Father, open the eyes of my understanding, that I may behold and know the mysteries of your help that you have made available to me. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus today that, Lord, as we sit to receive at your table, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you open our eyes of understanding, that we may know, that we may understand, that we may come into the center of the mysteries of your help that you have made available to us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. For in Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. Almighty Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory today. Thank you, Almighty Father, for what you are set to do in our midst today. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings that you have made available. Thank you for the vessels that you have used. Thank you for the blessings that we received in March. And thank you, Lord, for the blessings that we are going to receive today. Lord, we return all the glory to you. Father, we declare the April 21, April 2021 time of help open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and with the power of the Holy Ghost. For in Jesus Christ's name, we are prayed. Amen. Thank you once again. And you are welcome to the April 2021 20, time of help. May you be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Let us begin to exalt the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, I've come to glorify Emmanuel. 
God, I want to welcome each and every one of us to the free edition of the time of web. I pray God of the time of web. We meet with every one of us today in the name of Jesus. If you can hear me, let me know that you can hear me from the chat box. Praise God. I want us to begin to pray, tell it to God that, Father, I've come to meet with you today and not with any man. That they have your way in my life in the name of Jesus. That they have your way in my life in the name of Jesus. That they have your way in my life in the name of Jesus. That they have your way in my life in the name of Jesus. That they have your way in my life in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I've come to meet with you today. I've not come to meet with any man. Daddy, have your way in my life in the name of Jesus. Make sure that God is hearing your voice this morning. Make sure that he's hearing your voice this morning. Father, we've come to meet with you and not with any man. Daddy, have your way in the name of Jesus. Daddy, have your way in the name of Jesus. Oh, Daddy, have your way in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we've come to meet with you. Daddy, have your way. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for January edition. Thank you for February. Thank you for March, the mystery of God, part one. Thank you for this April, the mystery of God, part two. The other way, ask that as we have come to you this morning, please accept our thanks and praise in the name of Jesus. Daddy, please accept our thanks and praise in the name of Jesus. Daddy, as we have come to learn at your feet and also to pray, Daddy, we ask that you will give ears to our request in the name of Jesus. Lord, I hide myself behind the cross. I leave the stage for you, Lord. We want to see you being glorified this morning in the name of Jesus. Daddy, take all the glory and let the blessings be asked in the name of Jesus. Daddy, at the end of this meeting today, I pray that every participant online, on ground, on Facebook, Miss LR, Zoom, we, we all have testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, internal rock of ages. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Praise God. People of God, I want to thank you for coming again today to God, not to man. I'm too small to call every one of us that I'm seeing here across the nations of the world. I've seen people from US this morning. I've seen people from the United Kingdom this morning. I've seen people from Scotland. 
I'm too small to gather you in this meeting. It is the Lord God Almighty himself that has gathered all of us. And it is my prayer that as he had gathered all of us, he will give us enviable testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you for coming. Today, we will continue our series, The Mystery of God's Earth, Part 2. And in this meeting, we'll be focusing on the person of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Let me tell you, I've come to a level of encounter in recent time more than ever before that confirmed to me the fact that if you have everything and Jesus is missing, you have nothing. People of God, whatever you had to him is a waste of time. But when you have him, every other thing will be added to you. Matthew 6, 33, my witness is that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. He said, and every other thing will be added. It is my earnest desire today that someone will seek Jesus, that someone will seek the kingdom of God, that everything that we have added to him will be taken off by fire, that we might see him face to face, just the way he is in the name of Jesus. Thank you. You know, last month we've seen humble testimonies. You know, the last one that came in yesterday night was from someone far away in Oshun State, Nigeria. He said the, his phone battery was bad. And um, before the program, the battery was on two bar, thereabout, and um, the phone went down. And that he said, the God of all sufficiency, the God of the time of earth, if indeed you are the God of all sufficiency, I want to join this program. He said, and the phone came up, and the phone worked for the whole of the program. The testimony is there on my WhatsApp status. Please read. Let me tell you, no one can experience God for you. No one can experience God for me. The level at which we are going to encounter or experience God is the, at the level of our desire, is at the level of our hunger for him. So let's stop playing church. Let's stop playing religion. Let's play the kingdom. Let's be determined that God is either I have you or nothing else. And as we do, the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Our Bible text today is taken from the book of John chapter 1, and verses 1 to 13. I will read very quickly from New King James Version. It reads, it said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. It was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. So, when you want to have a pursuit in life, why don't you pursue the word of God? Why don't we pursue God? So that all that he has, we follow him into our life. You know, in, he said in verse 4, in him was life. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. And the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness did not comprehend it. The darkness did not comprehend it. He said, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. Verse 8, he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which, give, which gives light to every man coming into the world. That was the true light. People of God, there can be fake light. But there is a true light in God that gives life to every man, that gives life to every man coming into the world. Verse 10, he was in the world, and the world was made through him. And the world did not know him, Kapayada. It is my prayer that someone listening to me this morning, we know God. Personally, we know Jesus intimately in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that the world did not know him. <laughs> Look at what Apostle Paul said. He said that I may know him. He said the, the fellowship of his, the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering made conformable unto his death. There is a level of knowing in God that guarantees your safety. There is a level of knowing that takes care of your needs. 
There is a level of knowing that makes you to know that what you are going through is temporary. And in this meeting this morning, I decree that the light of God will come upon our spirit in the name of Jesus. Verse 11. He came to his own, even his own. And his own did not receive him. May we receive him this morning in the name of Jesus. Verse 12 says, But as many as received him, to them gave the power, the right. A version of the scripture said to them, gave you power to become the children of God. Those who believe in his name, your belief system matters, people of God. It matters. Verse 13, which is the last verse, he said, he said, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Praise God. Praise God. I would, like to, I would like to make this statement to us this morning that Jesus is not a religious leader. Jesus is not a religious leader. He came to speak clearly about the kingdom of God. There were religions everywhere before he came. He brought a dimension to the ministry of God, you know, to the plan of God that shows a dimension that is too clear to be doubted. No wonder in John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 1 from verse 1 to 5. 1 John chapter 1, verse 1 to 5. The Peter and the light were saying, they said, that which we have seen, that which we have had, that which we have touched, that which we have handled, the word of life declared we unto you. There is a level of hearing, there is a level of saying that makes you a witness. That will make you not to be able to keep quiet at any time, at any time, at any time. Praise God. The eternal plan of God to get us back on track was through Jesus. The eternal plan of God to get us back to himself was through Jesus. He is the real mystery of God's earth. Jesus is the real mystery of God's earth. Imagine how the death of Jesus was enough, a one-time sacrifice that freed all of us. You know, before the advent of Jesus, they would say, go and get a goat, get a turtle dove, get a ram, get this, get that. But when Jesus came, one time sacrifice over 2,000 years ago, and that is still valid and will be valid forever and ever. Do I have an hallelujah and amen to that? That blood will be valid. That sacrifice will be valid to eternity. Praise God. The attempt by man to help themselves. For instance, in the beginning, as we see it, in the Garden of Eden, produce one thing. It produced separation from God and its original purpose. The attempt by man to help themselves produce one thing. It produced separation from God and the plan and purpose of God for man. Genesis 3 verse 6 is my witness. It says, so when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree desirable to make one wise. You know, <laughs> desirable to make one wise. He said, she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her and he ate. And I put in my notes, anytime we consider doing a thing against the counsel of God Almighty, his help in that regard will be withdrawn. Why? Because you cannot carry God into hiding. He said in Isaiah 42, verse 7, 8, 9, that he said, my glory will I not share with any graven image. He doesn't want it. The jealous of God, the jealousy of God forbids sharing his glory with anything, with anybody. No man in my life is too strong to do what God has done. Though he did many of them through men, and I give all the glory to God. God doesn't want it. So if you are listening to me today and you have been sharing the glory of God with man, with your uncle, with your pastor, with anybody, please refrain from doing that. The jealousy of God can fight that to a steel. Look at Genesis 3 verse 7. He said, then, after they had the fruit, then 
the eyes of both of them were opened. Their eyes were opened. And they knew that they were naked. Hakabaranaba. In the Libra du Sutan, the Libra de Boko Shintelia. How did they come to know that they were naked? Did the apple, did the food took away their dress? Let me tell you. <laughs> and I have it in my note. I said, and you know, the back, that, let's complete that verse. He said, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves covering. People of God, stop covering yourself. Allow God to cover you. You don't have enough sufficient material to cover yourself maritally, etwise, academically, in no ramification. There are times, like still during the lockdown, that even those that have citizenship of America that they have all the money to travel in and out of this country could not just go out of this country. So let me tell you, they sew, you know, they sew a fig leaf or a cloth for themselves. And I said, what did God use to cover them before? What is it that God was using to cover them before that time? It is called the glory of God. self help self help we only produce one thing, it is called shame. self help we only produce one thing. That thing is called shame. <laughs> Man abandoned the glory for fig leaves. Can you imagine? I pray for someone listening to me this morning that may you not abandon the glory of God for a fig leaf in the name of Jesus. Pray with me very quickly. Say, Father, in any way that I've abandoned your glory via self-help, please have mercy on me today. Daddy, in any way that I've abandoned your glory through self-help, Daddy, please have mercy on me today. Daddy, have mercy on me today. Some of us, we have abandoned the glory of God for our certificate. We have abandoned the glory of God for our professionalism. Some of us can no longer profess the name of Jesus publicly. Because you work with multinationals, because you work somewhere, can, like, can I ask you, a, can a dead work in any of those places? The giver of life is the one that we are to profess. So pray very quickly. Say, Father, in any way that I've abandoned your glory through self-help, Daddy, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Daddy, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. Daddy, have mercy on me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. May the Lord have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. Now, note the following about Jesus. We have said that Jesus is the real mystery of God's help. And I'm going to be telling us today just five things, five things, very quickly. Number one, Jesus represents a system of exchange. 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 Why? Only in him we have found power to become. You may know something, but to become that which you know, we have to be through Jesus. The place we read in, in John chapter 1, he said, For as many as received him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even those that believe in his name. To become that thing that you believe in the word of God, we have to be with your via your alignment with Jesus. That's John 1 12. He said, But as many as received him, to them gave he the right to become the sons of God. Those who believe in his name. So we have said, Jesus represents a system of exchange. Number two. Number two. Jesus represents one time and last sacrifice. Jesus represents one time and the very last sacrifice. There is no other sacrifice that is coming. Jesus represent the last, the one-time sacrifice that is enough for all that we can imagine. I said, 
That's it. You know, difference represent one time and last time. The answer for what we lost by disobedience. By disobedience. By disobedience. You must believe this and align yourself with it to enjoy your freedom. You must believe that Jesus died for you. You must believe that he, he resurrected on the third day and now he sits at the right side of the Father to be able to enjoy your freedom. No human being dies for another. Jesus died for all of us. And so all we are today is in name. Praise God. Number three, Jesus represents a system of replacement. Jesus represent a system of replacement. Mm. And I will show you how that works today. Whatever we lost, missed, are now replaced in Jesus at no cost to us. You didn't get that. Whatever we lost or missed are now replaced in Jesus at no cost to us. This mystery of no cost to us is difficult for many to comprehend. And that's how many people we ask. How can you tell me that somebody died and so I'm free? You just say, I should just confess Jesus and accept him and that I'm fine. Yes, that's what it is. He took our place in hell. He took our place in the place of punishment. The Bible said that he that knew no sin was made sin for us. He said, cause to well be everyone that is hung on a tree. He was hung there without an offense. All this he did for me and you, that we may gain our freedom, that what we lost in terms of glory might be replaced. You will see it now as we progress. He took our place, and now we are free to live our destiny in God. We are free to serve the living God. Praise God. Number four, Jesus represents a system of access. When Jesus gives you an access to the kingdom, to the mystery of the kingdom, you cannot be normal. You are not thinking at the frequency of every other people. You are not limited by the traditions of men. Why? Because you have an access. Let me quickly say this as we go. As part of the time we were preparing for this meeting, let me tell you, somebody is here now. Is there any mean on ground online? You have something before that you think is an access to take you to where you want to get to in life. But let me tell you, as I speak to you, what I saw overnight today was that a new access is being given. And this is how I can describe it for you to get it. You know, like when you have a Nigerian driver's license and uh, you've been traveling around with the license, but then you need to access a particular place and they look at your license, they say, please fill this new form. You know, I say, oh, I have a driver's license before. They said, don't worry, don't worry, just fill this form. This one you are getting is the authentic. You know, many a times our ordinary eye can, does not understand or cannot even detect which is original and which is fake. But as we hear me this morning, I'm saying to you, your access is renewed. <clears throat> a genuine one is given to you in place of the fake one that you've been carrying about before. Somebody's identity is changing right now. Kalisa toba yande rende boko sunto liba yada. Elia katusa talibre de boko sunto liya. You have a heart condition with which you are known. Right now, as I speak to you, that identity is changing. You will no longer be addressed by that ailment. In the name of Jesus. Jesus represents a system of access is our only access to the Father. John 14, 6 is my witness. John 14, 6. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Get that. I am the way, Jesus said. The truth and the life. No one gets that. No one comes to the Father except through me. 
And that's why I say Jesus is not a religious leader. If you are going to come to the Father, it has to be through him. And he did not say it in the corner. He said it openly and clearly to people. He said, I am the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Anything you have to him will fall off. Jesus is the truth. Anything that you believe that is not consistent with the word of God shall to the extent of his inconsistencies be known and void. Praise God. Jesus represents a system of access. And let me tell you, somebody from today, from that prophecy that I told you the other time, we begin to assess places that you never could have imagined in the name of Jesus. Why? Because they are preparing a new access card for you right now. In the name of Jesus, a new access card is given. It is given right now. Right now, if you believe that, go to the shout box and put your amen there. It is given to you right now. The Bible said that blessed is you that believe for there shall be a performance. As I speak right now, let the angel of the Lord move into the atmosphere and let that be a performance in the name of Jesus. That access that you have been denied before because of what the Lord is doing, because of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done, you have a new access now. Go back there and you will be accepted in the name of Jesus. But please remember to share your testimonies. It will, see, you know, we are different. Testimonies encourages all of us. But let me tell you, when I see things in the spirit realm, it is more real to me than the physical. And many people struggle with that level. If God has shown you, he's able to bring to pass what he has shown you. So I knew and I believe that he has done great things in our life already. Make sure on a daily basis you give thanks to him. Praise God. The last one says, Jesus is a system of authorization. Jesus is a system of authorization. Look at John 14, 12. John 14, 12. Jesus is a system of authorization. See what Jesus said in, in John 14, 12. He says, most assuredly, <laughs> borrow me English, most assuredly of the truth, I'm saying this to you. He said, I said to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. He who believes in me, and that's why I said, he's not a religious leader. If a Muslim believes in him, he will do the work of Jesus. And many pastors, many reverends, many high priests, when you look at Acts chapter 4, for example, the people that arrested Peter when he was speaking concerning Jesus, they were not, they were not people of any other religion. They were high priests. But do they believe in Jesus? We cannot answer. He said, most assuredly, I said to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, will he do also? And greater works than this he will do because I go to my father. Let me say this to you. Imagine how disastrous it's going to be when we stand before Jesus. And he said, Wale, I program you to go to the old seven continents of the world, taking the gospel of the Lord to those places. But you never leave Nigeria. How disastrous that will be. And I said, Jesus, I, did, I didn't know. I didn't know, sir. And he said, uh, but you preached and you quoted John 14, 12, that the work that I do, you will do because you believe in me. Well, then why did you believe in me and you refuse to take action? So people of God, I'm saying to you this morning, please add action to your belief system. Act on the word of God and the rest will be a testimony for us in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, whatever the word of God has said, please act on them promptly. In Jesus' name. Now, pray with me. Say, Father, I believe. Father, I believe. Empower me to do the work that Jesus did in the name of Jesus. And even much more, in the name of Jesus. Father, I believe in you. I believe in your only son, Jesus. Help me. Empower me. 
to do the work that Jesus do. I receive grace this morning to begin to do those work that Jesus did in the name of Jesus. People, that's the best miracle that can happen to anyone. Tell it to God, Father, I receive grace this morning to do the work that Jesus did and even a greater one in the name of Jesus. You have been accessed. You have been, you have, you have been profiled to do it. Don't stop yourself. You have been credentialed. You have been certified to do it. Don't stop yourself. In the name of Jesus, that day I receive grace this morning. I receive empowerment, oh God, to, re to live the life of John 14, 12. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. As we are beginning to get to, to, to close, let me also tell us in one, you know, very quickly, what manner of earth did God brought to us through Jesus? What manner of earth did God brought to us through Jesus? Number one, salvation. The book of Matthew 1, 21, he said, he's going to deliver his people from their sin. He's going to set his people free. Jesus is the only person accredited by the Father for that job. So one, salvation. And let me tell you, if you're a Christian and you stop at that level, you are missing a whole lot of things. Why? Because the Bible said that everything is in him. Through him, everything was made. There was nothing that there is nothing, there was nothing that was made that was not made through him. So if you stop only at salvation, you can be poor. You can be sick. But when you take it to the next level, you begin to see that, hey, there's no much more in Jesus. And I pray for someone listening to me this morning that as you believe God and you believe his word, you will begin to manifest those things that the word of God declared concerning you and you believe it in the name of Jesus. Number two, health, healing, and wholeness. Health, healing, and wholeness. What is it that Jesus brought to us? Health, healing, and wholeness. I told you one of the one of the one of the covenants of this meeting, time of it, that God gave me was his name as Jehovah Willing. And that's traceable to the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 42. He said, Well, let me introduce myself to you. He said, I am Jehovah Willing. The Bible said that that leopard saw Jesus and he cried out unto him, and he said, If thou be willing, thou can make me clean. And what was the reply? Jesus said, I am willing, be thou cleansed. And the Bible said that immediately his leprosy left him. Let me say this to you. Jesus is willing to help if only you are willing to ask for his help. So I hope someone is asking for the help of God this morning. And as you ask, may you receive it in the name of Jesus. Number three, prosperity. The Bible said that even though he was rich, he said he became poor so that through his prosperity, we might become rich. So if you die poor as a Christian, you have denied yourself of that part of Jesus. That was what Jesus died for. And you cannot prioritize one over another. Father, give me money, don't give me salvation. Father, give me salvation, don't give me money. You must exhibit, you must exercise your full authority in Christ Jesus. So he brought prosperity to us. Let me say to someone that is listening beside you that prosperity is not a sin. And that prince prophesied to that person that you will prosper in the name of Jesus. And I pray for everyone listening to me this morning that you will prosper in the name of Jesus. Number four, he, 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 he gave us a, a fresh insight about the Holy Spirit. One of the apps that Jesus brought was the Holy Spirit. You know, when you look at John chapter 21, there about, he said, and he said, Jesus breathed upon them and he said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. He said, I go to my father. He said, I will pray my father. He will send another comforter who will be with you. He said, when the Holy Spirit comes, he said, you will not need any man to teach you. He said, for he will take from the father and he will make them known unto you. If you are going to exam maximumly in life, you have to journey with the Holy Spirit. Let me say this to us. This is for another major program that God will be leading us into during the course of the year. How do you describe Moses that was trained in Egypt? 
and Egyptian trained Moses went back after an encounter with Jesus to challenge Pharaoh to say, release my people and let them go. Someone that is listening to me, this is it. You will encounter God on a per second basis in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy, may you be sensitive to receive that in the name of Jesus. If it happens in our days, we say, oh, he's not loyal to his leader. He was trained in Egypt for 40 years. But then there is something about him. There is something about the plan of God according to Genesis 15 that is bigger than the entire Egypt and Moses all together. So when he appeared before Moses, before Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, you, and things began to erupt. And you know the story. May you encounter Jesus this season in the name of Jesus. Number five, he brought eternal life to us. He said, no one come to the Father and said, true. You know, just 3.16, he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him is saved, and who is not, does not believe in him is condemned already. You know, the only way to get eternal life is through Jesus. The only way to get eternal life is through Jesus. And in conclusion this morning, I want to tell you, I want to ask us a question. Within the few minutes that we have, where is that Jesus? Where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? Jesus is here. He's inside of me. I carry Jesus on the inside of me. I don't know about you. And I want us to quickly make a confession this morning. Can you put your right hand on your chest wherever you are and say, Jesus, I accept you again today into my life. I want you to be my Lord and my Savior. And I want you to lead me through the remaining days of my life in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you pray that prayer, go to the shop bus and say, I stand with Jesus. And I stand for Jesus. Praise God. In conclusion, Colossians 1, 26 and 27, that's the last Bible passage that we're going to read so that we can pray for about five minutes. Because as we speak the word of God, we are praying, we are prophesying. People should get, get to know that. And that's the most strong one, that when you pray the word of God. In conclusion, Colossians 1, 26 and 27. Now what? He said, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. Are you the saints of God? By that prayer that you prayed this morning, you are already a saint of God. He said, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. Verse 27, he said, to them, God willed to make known what are the riches of, his, of the glory of this mystery. To them, God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, among every one of us on the time of birth. He said, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Can somebody say that to himself? Christ in me, the hope of glory. Say it again. Christ in me, the hope of glory. 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 People of God, we have no other message than this. That Christ in us, the hope of glory. That Christ in us, the hope of glory. As we are saying it now, is clearing cancer from your body. It's clearing headaches. It's clearing, it's clearing shirts problem right now. Call those things that be, uh, that are not as though they were. Right now, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And where Christ lives, where the glory of Christ lives, no sickness can stay there. Therefore, right now, I command sickness to go in the name of Jesus. I command confusion to go. I command arthritis to go in the name of Jesus. Epilepsy. I command epilepsy to go in the name of Jesus. 
I command epilepsy to go in the name of Jesus. Everything that we find in Christ and that they are not available, that is making a mess of your Christian journey. Christ in you, the hope of glory. By that oppression of Christ in us, those things are destroyed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let me say this to you. When we were praying and preparing for this meeting, on three different occasions, we had it that God is about to raise men and release them into his harvest. The Bible said that the harvest is plenteous, but that the laborers are few. He said, let's pray to the Lord of harvest that he might send more laborers. People of God, this is not just a meeting. This is an initiation into the kingdom of God through Jesus, the mystery of God. So I want you to pray with me this morning and say, Father, I release myself for you. Lord, I release myself for you. Let me tell you the best thing that you can ever do in your life is to work for God. Whether you are in the multinational, there are apostles in the workplace. Tell it to God. That means I release myself to you. I want to carry you like never before. Let your presence begin to manifest in my life. Let your presence begin to manifest in my destiny. In the name of Jesus. That means I release myself to Jesus. Jesus, fill me up like never before. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Three more prayer points and we are done. Remember where Jesus said, I stand at the door, Revelation 21. He said, and I knock. He said, if you hear and you open the door, he said, I will come into you. In another place in the scripture, he said, I am my father, we come and we make our boat. We will be living with you. Can you pray to God this morning? That daddy, anything that is occupying me, that is not of God. Daddy, empty me of them this morning. Be serious with that prayer. Daddy, anything that is occupying me. For some of us, malice is occupying us. For some of us, fight. You know, sickness. So many nonsense things. Is those occupying us. Can you tell it to God this morning? Daddy, clear me of every nonsense. Every tree in my life that you have not planted. Daddy, uproot them this morning. Daddy, uproot them this morning. In the name of Jesus, that he uproot them this morning. Fill me up with your presence. Fill me up with your revelation. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Second to the last prayer, I want you to raise up your two hands wherever you are to God as a father. I receive the newness of life in Christ Jesus. I receive the newness of life in Christ Jesus. Don't let anybody make you feel less of what God has made you to be. It is not your pastor. It is not, it is not your president, the president of the nation that died for you. Jesus died to get us back to God. So don't wait for anybody to give you access to your father. Tell it to God. Daddy, I declare myself for you this morning. I receive the newness of life in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. And lastly, I want us to tell you to God, Daddy, give me revelation for the next phase of my life. In the name of Jesus, Daddy, give me the needed revelation for my next phase, for the next journey of my life. Daddy, give me revelation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. You know, the Bible speaking says your prophets shall no more be removed to any corner, but that your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way, walk in it. I declare upon our life this morning that your ears are open to hear the living God in the name of Jesus. Your eyes are healed to see the God of glory in the name of Jesus. Between now and the next eight days, the Lord God of heaven will visit you with diverse kinds of miracles that will position you for his assignment for the rest of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, Eternal Rock of Ages. I want to give us this opportunity this morning. If you are listening to me and you are here to know Christ, by that confession that you have made, you are now in the kingdom. Please, prioritize your growth. The Bible said that work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. It is your responsibility. No man can make you grow except the word of God, except the Holy Spirit, except the anointing of God that comes upon you 
when you read this word, when you pray to him. Don't wait for a middleman. Assess your father in the name of Jesus. Shortly before we close in one minute, I want you to ask whatever you want from God. And I need you to write it down today. Whatever you need, the willingness of God will bring it to you. That leper said to Jesus, if thou be willing, thou can make me clean. And Jesus said, I am willing, be thou cleansed. And the Bible said that immediately, that immediately, immediately he was cleansed. If you also believe after that order this morning, the Lord, Jehovah willing, we bring speedy answers to those requests in the name of Jesus. He will bring speedy answers to those requests in the name of Jesus. Ask him whatever you want, whatever, whatever it is that you want. And please don't ask him for small things. Ask him for nations of the world. The Bible said that he has made the foolish things to confirm the wise. Ask him for big things and you will see them raw coming forth to you in the name of Jesus. That there be full complement of anointing to do the work. And it's not that you will lose your power like you have measured in the name of Jesus. Without measure in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want to pray. Please release your faith. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for all these, your people that you have gathered all over the world. Daddy, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you all the adoration. Daddy, please accept our thanks and praise in the name of Jesus. Daddy, you said to me that you are Jehovah willing and that if we ask from you, you are willing to help. Daddy, behold, we have asked you for big things this morning, nations of the world. Healing, that person that is trusting God for the fruit of the womb, it is done in the name of Jesus. Just like Mommy Sarah, receive strength now to conceive in the name of Jesus. And if you are standing in the gap for someone, right now, let the power of God, let the power of God hit the person and let them receive new womb. There's a new womb now, new womb, new womb, new womb. New womb, new womb is being given, new womb. New womb, right now as I speak, you will feel it from the crown of your head that something is being poured on you. A new womb is being released right now in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, you know someone that is mad, a woman. They, they put a whole big load on her and she's mad. As I speak the word of God from this altar this morning, from the altar of the willingness of God on the time of birth, let that person's healing be restored in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I decree a sound mind upon that mad woman in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I decree a sound mind, spirit of madness, go in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you. Lord, we pray that all that we have asked from you, let your willingness bring them to pass. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, you said you are commissioning men into the field. I pray that from those that are listening to me this morning, on Facebook, on Missellar, on Zoom, Lord, I pray that your anointing to do the work of evangelist will rest upon each and every one of us. And until we evangelize, we will not be able to rest. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive healing in your left leg right now. Your ankle, that ankle. Receive healing in that ankle right now. Right now. You, you, on your knees, 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 your, your left knees. Receive healing in that leg right now. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you for what you have done. No man will share your glory. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Thank you, internal rock of ages. How we honor you. With all my life, for the great things you've done for us, we will honor you. With all our lives, for the great things you've done for us, that in no man will share your glory. 
In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to go to the chat box and tell us where you are connecting from and let us know if this program has been a blessing to you. Let us know if you are blessed this morning. Let's go to the chat box and let us know. And if you have a testimony, please send your testimony to us. We will share it with other people and it will indeed encourage them. Daddy, we thank you for your blessing this morning. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Go and manifest the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. Please make sure you tell people about Jesus today. Go on your, on your WhatsApp status and say, Jesus loves you. That Jesus in you, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hashtag time of it. Let's put a hashtag there. This way, can you help us with that hashtag this morning? Hashtag time of it. You know, hashtag time of it. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hashtag time of it. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Sister Over, can you do that for us? Let people see the hashtag. Hashtag time of it. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Let that be on your status. Let that be on your Facebook. Let us be everywhere. Let's make Jesus popular. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hashtag time of help. Christ in you, the hope of glory. As you say it, it will begin to take care of his people. It will begin to heal people. It will begin to deliver them. Long egg battles will be lifted in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. We cannot appreciate you enough. Thank you, thank you. You know, the Lord God of heaven that knows you, we bless each and every one of us. I'm waiting before the close of today to hear your testimony before the close of today. Thank you from England. Thank you from Umuaron, you know, from Kwara State, from Ibado, from Maryland in the US. Thank you for coming. Thank you everyone, the Scotland people. Thank you everyone for coming. It is my prayer that the Lord will bless each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. See you next month. When we will be discussing provoking the help of God. How do you provoke the help of God? You know, everybody can pass and there are degrees. The Bible said that, you know, 30%, 60%, 100%. How do you provoke the 100%? The Bible said that Solomon did something. He said there was no king before him that is as blessed as he was. And there's not going to be another king after him. Why? He provoked the help of God. Next month in May, we will be dealing with provoking the help of God. And as you get set to provoke the help of God, that help of God will separate you from among your peers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. See you next month. Remember to put that in on your status. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Hashtag time of help. The Lord bless you. See you next month. Thank you very much.